I appreciate that. Today on True Talk, we have Psychics Galore. You guys ready for some readings? Yeah. Absolutely. Two great psychics on the show today. First up, we have Tom Kearns. Everyone welcome Tom to the show. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Now, you're Reverend Tom Kearns. Mm -hmm. What does that reverend mean? Uh, I'm an uh, ordained spiritualist minister through uh -huh. the National uh, Spiritualist Association of Churches. That's where I trained and um, then actually went out to and we formed our own national organization called the American Federation of Spiritualist Churches. So. And that connects with psychic. How does that Well, uh, the word psychic really means of the soul. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is doing the psychic and they're not doing something spiritual, they're actually misusing the energy. So it really needs to come from a spiritual standpoint. And how were you aware that you had these abilities? Starts young, when you're a child usually, um, but uh, often gets pushed down. But couldn't go to bed at night without putting my covers over my head because there were people in my room. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and uh, I was brought up Catholic, and that was uh, all frowned upon at those, and probably still is up to this time. There um, is a negative vibe that goes along with the word psychic, though, isn't there? Uh, there's many different perceptions about the word, uh -huh. and, a, and a lot of misunderstanding. And what are some of those misunderstandings? Well, exactly what it is, where, the, where it comes from, what it does, and just because someone says they're a psychic, mm -hmm. there, there's really no regulation on okay, it. Okay, so what is a psychic good for? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there, let's get a little bit clearer here. Oh, okay. I, I'm not just a psychic. I, I'm what is called a psychic medium. Okay. All right. A psychic, tell the audience what that means. Okay, there's a difference between the psychic and the spiritual. The psychic is like it was explained. If anybody here see Star Wars? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember Yoda explaining the force to Luke? Yeah. Uh -huh. It is an energy of force that's around and about us, and it, and it interpenetrates with everything that we do. That's the psychic. Mm -hmm. A medium uses that energy also to make contact with spirit, mm -hmm. and that's the difference. A psychic does not do that. Okay. A medium does that. So what do you do as a medium? As a medium, you make contact with the spirit world, okay. with spirit entities, uh, loved ones, um, God, what we call guides or teachers, or what the Christians call um, guardian angels. How do you come in contact with these spirits? Are they fa you, family members, friends, you, you people you invite know? them. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> you invite them. You invite them. Yes, okay. they don't always, you know, you can't say, hey, Joe, I want to talk to you. Come here. Uh-huh. You know, okay. it's, um, it's just like anything else. You, you should respect it and uh, take it seriously. You can have fun with it, but uh, it is actually a very serious business. And I've had such amazing experiences, I would not respect it. Okay, and you, you say this is your religion. Well, spiritualism is the religion. Uh -huh. It's a religion that started outside of Rochester, New York, in a place called Hydesville in 1848. And uh, three young girls were playing in a bedroom at night, and uh, they did what this was. Uh -huh. They heard knocks. And so they went, and the knocks came back. And uh, that's called the Hydesville Wrappings, and they were the Fox Sisters, and they actually started the whole spiritualist movement in this country. And I understand you don't like people to ask you questions. Uh, yes. Talk about that. There's a reason for that, because if I ask you, what color shirt am I wearing? Mm -hmm. What has to happen? You, no, uh -huh. your mind has to go to that. Uh -huh. I don't want my mind directed. I want to open myself to spirit and see what spirit brings through. There's a whole big difference. Okay, and you're going to demonstrate for us today. Yeah, and do we'll some, do that. Some yeah. readings. Yeah. Okay. Do you see anybody in the audience that you think? Uh, anybody who wants a reading. Who, who would like? Who would be the brave? Okay, okay I stand see, on I up. See. What's your name, dear? Uh, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. The reason I asked your name is because I want your voice vibration that sort of connects us together. Now, I don't know what you're doing in your life right now, but I see a little bit of a change coming up on the road. So a little bit of a, a right turn. Now, the reason I'm saying right turn is because I feel that this is the right thing for you to do. So whatever you're doing now, it's going to change a tiny little bit. It's not, it's not like a you know, big, sudden, unexpected. This is more gentle, 
and it flows and you go with the flow. I feel a woman in spirit who liked wearing black a lot. So I don't know if she, um, um, you know, went into spirit, let's say within the last few years, but I do feel black with her and she comes to you and she tells me they have a very, very good heart. So I'm not going to, I'm not a doctor and I cannot, cannot, you know, tell you you have this or you have that, but I feel very good with your heart. Now you can take that on the physical level or on the emotional level, that is up to you. I take it both. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Well, but, but I do know this, that if I was lucky enough to know you, you would be a very good friend. Oh, thank you. And I'll leave that with you. Thank you. Aw, that was nice. <laughs> Give him a hand for that. Who else wanted a reading? Stand on up. I'm sorry, sir. See, John, I, I have to explain to you what happened just then. Sure. They pay the money. Uh huh. I watch the movies. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Well, when, when someone comes for a reading, uh -huh. an appointment, you, you pass the hat, okay, so to okay. speak. So the idea here is that the way the, the psychic or mediumship can work, one of the ways is called clairvoyance, where you see images. Another way is called clairsentience, where you actually feel things about people. And the third way is clairaudience, where you hear things about okay. people. What's your name? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I'm doing well. You? Just well. I myself am fabulous. Wouldn't you rather be fabulous? Well, yes. <laughs> then say that word. I'm fabulous. All right. <laughs> you see? Very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling someone who worked either in dirt or on the railroad. Something of that nature was real hard work. And I feel that there have been two blocks in front of you. And I feel that these blocks are going to be taken away. So you're going to have more freedom of movement in actuality. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to actually see you either take a train, like maybe to New York or Buffalo or some, some you know, because that's where we connect here. Uh, but I do feel that there are new opportunities as well. So I'm going to say in within two months, there's going to be some nice little changes for you. And, um, and again, I think the possibility of a trip. But it's not, it's not I don't see you getting on a, on a plane, although travel is travel is travel. Um, I would really like to suggest if you do go someplace, try the train. And I don't work for Amtrak. <laughs> I'll leave that with you. Are you open to taking the train? Sure, it's all good. <laughs> okay. I'll take the train. Thank take you. the train. Good job. <laughs>